We're all down here, guys. I've had pictures from Sarah when spring has just sprung, all full of blossom. All down here. And I think, I hope I'm telling you right, this is the quince walk. I hope I'm telling you right here. Without the blossom today, of course, because it's summer. So, um, I've got some lovely photographs that Sarah's done over the years of all the beautiful walk when it's in blossom. So again, another outlook different to roses. I try not to bore you all too much. And I love everything as well, so the only thing I'm not keen on is carnations and gerberas. They're not my thing, but everything else I like. And I think the sweet peas are somewhere in this area down here. Oh, here the chooks. Here are the chooks. And I've got to go across the bridge to get to the sweet peas. I think the chooks are here. This rose hasn't come out yet, so, but these have. So they've got a lovely area, all nice and shady here. Oh, oh yes, they're all... <laughs> they're not silly sitting in there in the shade, look at them. They're not daft. I think the sweet, the past the trip shed, birds, a few iris. Echium, full of bees by the look of it. Just the odd echium, there's lots of them around, but full of bees here. And then I think, oh, forget me nots are still out. I always think of Aunt with the forget me nots because when we came back in 98, everywhere in the gardens were forget me nots, and she had them in hers, of course. Yeah, in the shade towards the house. I think the sweet peas are through here. Yes, I can see them. Masses of people are through here. I can see them. Wishing well with some of Sarah's friends here as well. And the children on the wishing well. Uh -huh. There's Annie sitting down and her daughter Holly on the left. You've seen her in many photos. And the children in the wishing well, and the sweet peas are through the gate, so I'll go there in a